Yeah, we are here with one of our favorites, Norm McDonald. Are we're you tweeting? Yeah, we're tweeting his picture right now. He, what did he you wants, tweet? He, he says, I just say I'm the coolest. So. You said that. <laughs> I didn't say You that. agreed. I think the coolest <laughs> is uh, that Tara, de, the girl from the... Yeah, you said you don't know half those no, people I said I, No, I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone, but I am very happy that the robot boxing genre is coming back. <laughs> yeah. No well, kidding. have you seen the latest? We were talking about the Taiwanese animation with uh, Rupert Murdoch's wife, Wendy, doing a little smackdown. Did you follow any oh, of that? Oh, no, this no. Week? I have seen that. Yeah. You mean the Japanese animation yes, where yes. They, like they did with Tiger Woods? No, I haven't seen that. No. Oh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was amazing. <laughs> That's the kind of wife you want to have. Yeah, somebody that knows. Uh, sh my dad used to call it Shogun. There you go. Yeah. As, long as, she's hit, as long as she's hitting somebody else and not you. Yeah, right? exactly. When I was a kid, karate, this is what I thought karate was because it was in the TV. Like, uh, this was in the TV shows. You would go like this to the guy's neck, and then right. he would fall yeah. down and yeah. be all and over. Just snap their Things neck. have changed yeah. since then. Yeah. So has that show that you worked on for what five seasons, Saturday Night Live? You yeah, did yeah, 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 yeah. Do you watch the guy who does it now, Seth Meyers? Yeah, I watch Saturday Night Live every week ever since I was like 13. What do you think? I love Saturday Night Live. <laughs> do you miss it? Oh yeah, and this is like crazy because it's live. It was live. You know, I like live stuff. You know, that's why I love doing stand up because it's live and. Uh, and you've got to be on your toes. I mean, that's one reason. You have an I think, audience. Well, you were given that that position uh, with the news. You've got to know what's going on. You've got to be able to kind of think quickly and react to something. That I think not everyone can really do that, right? Yeah. Even the cast members. Well, you don't have to know what's going on, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like prove I, that every day. Uh, like I don't follow the news. Sometimes, like when I'm doing my stand-up, people will ask me about news. I don't follow the news at all, but uh, <laughs> on Weekend Update, I just read the paper and think up jokes, you know. So when you're walking in here, you're probably thinking, man, I miss the, I miss the news desk. Gosh, these people are really good. They there is, so no, much. I definitely miss broadcasting. It's like the funnest thing. Like, you know, acting isn't that much fun, but broadcasting is, is really fun. Well, thanks to friends of yours who I think uh, enjoy you in their pictures. They love having you on periodically. You, you, oh, you yeah, can't yeah, look yeah. at a Sandler movie. Yeah, Sandler there. always throws me a bone. <laughs> I'm going to be, he's got this new movie that's really funny where he plays himself and his sister. Oh, is it Jack and Jill? Jack and Jill, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to... Uh, Are you in that? Yeah, I, I, play, uh, I go out with Jill. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Which is really, I mean, it was really, and then Sandler goes, no kissing, Norm. Like, I wanted to kiss him. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like some issues maybe worked out in this, in this film. Hey, talk about your Comedy Central stuff, because I know you have the sports show. Yeah. Uh, you had a special on just a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, does that help, or is it kind of a stressful process, because then you have to wait to see if they renew it? I mean, how does that process work? Oh, t with TV shows? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of stressful, because you always like, we don't know if we're coming back or not, you know, because of the... They say because of the lockouts and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to wait. Everything's got to, you got to wait all the time in TV. And, and same with movies. Like, you know, I only did a couple movies and I suck. But uh, <laughs> you do the movie for a whole year. It takes a year of your life. And then, uh, and then it's, it, it's around for a week and everyone hates it. <laughs> and uh, and then you're like, TV. what? I spent a year. So now I've decided money. I want to uh, watch movies. Oh, there you, there you go. Because you spend two hours, <laughs> you get the way the better deal. Hey, I noticed you got the Dodger hat on. Is mm -hmm. it kind of hard to be a fan right now with what's going on? Yeah, yeah. It's tough, man. And I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I don't have a, I don't really have a team. This was just a hat that was given to me because I'm a Montreal Expos fan, and then they left <laughs> and went to Washington. And uh, do you, as a I fan, do you follow them down there or no? When they're gone, you're no, gone. No, I kind of love. I kind of, I kind of feel foolish. No, I didn't follow them. Yeah. Same with the my Quebec Nordiques went to uh, Colorado and. Gosh, everyone's teams. leaving. You yeah, know, a lot of my teams leave, yeah. I, I figured you'd be uh, the kind of guy that'd be at Comic Con in San Diego right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for comic books. Oh, I Not know, I know okay. that, but he. You know. No, I, again, I barely know what that is. It's only been explained to me. That's it's right, it's me comic too. book thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. John Jay and Rich, help out. Real, real quick, I should probably mention Norm is at Stand Up Live. We love he's Norm. Got, yeah, he's got shows tonight uh, and tomorrow at Stand Up Live downtown in Jefferson. I don't want to forget this. This is I don't. I don't know. If he can hear us. I saw the club yesterday. It's, it's an nice. unbelievable it club. Really nice, yeah, yeah I, I, I've never seen a better yeah. stand-up club. It's can you really hear good. them okay, the, uh, John Jane Rich? Say something. Norm, I think, has one of the best lines that probably I only appreciate on network TV history when he was hosting SNL. And he was talking about the the new Michael Jack, or it was a Michael Bolton Christmas album. Do you remember <laughs> the line, Norm? <laughs> 
Happy birthday, Jesus. Hope you like crap. <laughs> Kills me to this day. <laughs> it was funny because that joke was originally supposed to be about Mariah Carey, but she had some boyfriend that was some crazy, dangerous guy, and everybody's afraid. <laughs> and you figured in an alley you could take a Michael Bolton. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although I think Bolton kind of made amends a little bit by appearing in that recent SNL skit. Uh, hysterical. He's that hysterical. Oh, that was oh, hilarious. Funny, yeah. yeah, that was hilarious. That was good. And he has a great voice. He does. I didn't know. <laughs> and the song was kind of catchy. The SNL song was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I realize these guys, I don't know much about music, but I realize these guys have great, like, like I was like, what's so big about Michael Jackson? But then I was watching America's Got Talent, and a guy did Billie Jean. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the worst thing I've ever heard. Puts it in a perspective, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, there's guys that can go All like. All of a sudden, this guy's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the moment you knew Michael Jackson was a talent? <laughs> he, he, he did the same thing with uh, Enrique Iglesias. Uh, all of a sudden, William Hung sings She Bangs, and he's like, man, that other guy's really good. The thing that normally. <laughs> was it? Oh, that's uh, Julio's kid. Oh, yeah. Is that, was that Enrique or who's Ricky that? Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Yeah, <laughs> Ricky Martin. He but came still out of the made closet. you appreciate Enrique all the yes, same. That's hey, true. I also, Norm, last time I heard a podcast with you where you're like uh, coaching or somehow we we're working with Chris Farley's brother. Yes, yes, the great Kevin Farley. I'm, uh, I'm teaching him how to be a stand up. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's not well. It, yeah, it's, okay. uh, it's 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 a guy. We've we've hit a few stutter steps along the way. Well, you know, I hear that Jimi Hendrix's brother goes out and plays clubs and stuff like that. I'm like, well, if he was so good, he'd be Jimi Hendrix. So you got to wonder about the brothers of the comedians. Like, I wouldn't want to hear John Jay's sister do a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, funny. Like, I love uh, Willie Nelson. Like, I'm friends with him, and he's a great guy. And he, he's like got a beautiful voice and stuff, you know. But when he goes on the road, he just brings his, uh, fa his family with him. And they all suck, you know. They're, they're just playing the guitar. And nobody, the, instead of just getting a tight, like, uh, band when you hit town, he just brings his family with him.